Look, your team's dying. Look, your whole team is already dead. Look. Look at you. Look. You're too scared. And then you die. <laughs> it's okay. You're just scared. You don't have enough confidence in yourself. If we were holding the whole angle, we would have killed them. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Judgment. I'm a Radiant player who loves to coach. I've coached people anywhere from Iron all the way to Radiant. And I have this coaching series here on YouTube to help you guys achieve your dream rank. If you guys want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. And if you ever want to get coached by me, be sure to check out the link in the description. If you want a chance at free coaching, stay till the end of the video to find out how. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Smokes, eh? Steps, eh, man? I wouldn't have knife out here. Nice. So whenever you're rotating on pistols, just always be aware of like potential lurkers. Like even though they they all call A, like the way I like to know like if I should have my knife out or not is like, I just look at mini map, right? Like they say step A main. And then as soon as you hear step A main, you're insta take cam back and then you're running out immediately. Like you only see two people right now, Jet and Jet and Reyna, the only people that we've seen. Now we see Sage and we see Brim and we don't know where Breach is. I tend to gamble it on a fracture since I can get away with it once a game. Probably bad. Yeah, I wouldn't really risk a gamble. Especially if you're Cypher. Like whatever you're playing Cypher, you're usually the side anchor. So like if you are, like if there is a lurker and you die and they get choked up on the A push, then they just kill you and they all bounce back to site because you were the only guy that was on the site. Just be aware of that. I'm getting in the habit of like autopilot, like rotating, especially as a sentinel, like you are the anchor a lot of the time. So you should be like staying a little extra usually. Your Phoenix is going for a push play, which is fine. Like yeah, maybe you weren't aware that he was doing it. He flashes, he gets one. And then instead of helping him here, well like we help him now, but like we didn't help him the first time. Now we're helping him. We get a kill. All right, we back out. We're looking at arcade, even though Brim is looking at it. And then now Phoenix is fighting again. And then we're sitting in the smoke staring at the wall and now we're on a cam. Like even Brim rotated. Brim rotated into a stim beacon to help him out. And now Brim is helping him out. Brim gets a kill. Almost gets another kill and then boom. Yeah, I think there I would have definitely uh, fought with him. All right, so here, I think you just did your setup too early. So you have sight, you you have kill trips that you're trying to play, right? These are sight kill trips, but you're putting up cage before like, if somebody walks in a cage right now, like they'll see you as soon as they walk in. You know what I mean? And the, your trip is on here. Like here, I would just be playing tower. Like the best, the smart thing to do here, I think, is to play like this. I would have just played like this with my camera right here and I can see arcade and then get myself on an angle to get ready to peek. Always like pre-aim your crosser wherever you are. That way when you get off cam, it's just instant, right? And then the second that I see the people coming up here, then I could or do whatever I have to do, you know what I mean? Obviously your cage wasn't in that exact spot, but now you can actually play off your kill trips. And then you're still managing to watch arcade here, you know? But when you pop cage early like this, you're not watching arcade at all. Nobody's on arcade side. And then now they're pushing. And like you, whenever you went to go pop cage there, you put yourself in an exposed position instead of using your cam. Never get the kill. And then we got timing their cage, so we died to the guy tower. tower. So like technically that could have happened at any time period. Like you could have got timing at any time here. But if we did it more like this, we would have been able to like be aware of a play like that. You know what I mean? Like we would have been like, oh, there's a guy there. Okay, now I can pop my cage early. And then maybe I can go kill this guy. Or you could just let your team know that you're, there's a guy there. So then now you can play more aggressive over here maybe. Go for a kill and then cage yourself and then now that they know you're on site you can go fight this guy you know what i mean kind of pick and choose your battles but yeah if you have kill trips like play off the kill trips and then always be aware of angles that you aren't holding and if you ever have a problem with like trying to hold arcade as well because like when you do a setup like this you are intentionally like setting up for a b main push so you have to be aware of arcade you can't just like give arcade you know what i mean and if you do you have to let your teammates know that you gave arcade or you have to subconsciously be aware that you gave arcade but if you're just like giving it and then you don't remember like you have to like build the habit of like okay i know that i'm not watching arcade i have to be ready for somebody to be behind me in the next 10 seconds in the next five seconds you know what i mean as long as you're aware of it you're at least like gonna be looking at it instead of just being like oblivious to the angle and then just dying for no reason like right here, look, they said it sounds like A. You're insta-rotating. Okay, there's three there. Sure. 
Now they're coming back to you. Nice. Nice. Good up. Three kills. Nice. What is this brim? Is this brim even speaking words? What the fuck? Like, I mean, maybe because it's like lowering, it doesn't really matter, but like, I would just be careful of like smokes and shit. Like, right here, like, you would not catch me rotating with my knife out right here. Like, if this Reyna's lurking and hears you rotating, like, I'm, if I'm the Reyna, I'm peeking the smoke and you're dying. You know what I mean? I would just be a little more cautious, like, look at the smoke with your gun out as you rotate. And then when you're about to, like, like at this point where you're standing right now, now you can take your knife out and jump the angle and, like, cross out. It can get punished as we, like, climb. Stuff like this can get punished. Here, clear it first. Like, if there's a guy here, you're dead. You know what I mean? You're focused on throwing a cage instead of, like, trying to kill somebody right now. Like, if there's a guy just standing here, you're dead. Like, right now is a fight angle, and you're probably gonna get flashed, or you're gonna get stunned here. Because he knows you're here. I wouldn't even be worrying about this guy right now. Okay, he did flash here. Like, you're taking, like, a 1v1 here, you know what I mean? Like, right here, I see two of my teammates fighting sight. I'm going to my teammates, and I'm ignoring this guy completely. Like, I'm not even gonna go through this door. I'm gonna go wrap around, and I'm gonna go help them fight on sight, because they're fighting together you ever want to give like a free 1v1 and then this guy he's i i mean i knew he was in a flash because well it's a breach right like right there like you know whenever you're against like flashers breach phoenix or whatever always be ready for a flash if you're always ready for a flash you're you're never gonna get blinded trust me and as you build that habit of like okay i'm against the flasher then you get faster at reacting at flashes so that's a good little like note just in general um Take a little bit more time when you're aiming. You kind of like rush that like hella hard. Like right here, like, okay, you spot the guy and then you just instantly swing and you start shooting before you're even not moving. Cause you're trying to get the kill as fast as you can, which is important. But if you want to get the kill as fast as you can, you need to like strafe, stop, aim, shoot. You know what I mean? Don't just like strafe, you see him, shoot. Nice, that's a good trip. You can cage right now. I would cage, yeah, exactly. I think he saw your gun. Yeah, he definitely saw your gun. If you ever want to like space yourself like that, like without like exposing yourself, because you you basically walked off too fast, so you're, you just flew out the cage and then now he saw you. Just crouch, like literally just crouch. Like if you're, you're on a cage like this, right? Instead of like trying to go like that, just crouch off the angle like this. That way you can barely move. You know what I mean? I like that you're aware of utility, but I think it's because you're a Cypher player, so you're like so used to getting fucked by like Breach stuns and Brim ults and KJ ults that you're like, that's not happening. But that's good to be aware of it. You've experienced it enough to where you're like cautious of it. Okay, three arcade that we saw. Oh yeah, four, yeah. Okay, updraft. You're too scared to peek this, that's okay. Too scared. Like you hear that, okay, so here's what happens, right? Enemy team is doing a 4-1, right? They killed your guy, tower, right? Jet dashes, jet updrafts, dashes in. Jet is the entry frag. Jet is gonna be the first one in, that clears the space for the team. She clears this, she cleared this. She said, hey guys, this is clear, All right? Here you are waiting here and here's your brim. Both of you are holding the exact same angle, yet none of you, like you hear the updraft, you guys are like, okay, they're there. And instead of peeking, like right now you can peek, you have cage and everything. Like you could easily do this. Cause you have to look for a pick here, essentially. I mean, unless you have like ults, then you could wait it out. If you have Four. ults, then you can wait. If you don't have, you have Brimmel. You have Brimmel and you have Phoenix ult. Okay, so I guess it's okay to wait here. But even then, like I would kind of look for like play making moves. Cause you don't want to like always wait for your teammates. You want to like try to like make shit happen every now and then. Like I would have just, the jet updrafts and takes tower, right? I know she's in tower, so here's what I do. Okay, she just dashed up. Okay, now I'm peeking this because her whole team is gonna start running through now that she took all that space. So the second she starts running, I'm holding the angle and I'm gonna go for one. 
And it's not even that risky because you're you're holding the angle, you're chilling, right? Now, if you're waiting like five seconds and nobody peeks you, you need to hide because now this jet's going to be on you, right? But if you're like this, you wait a second, the second somebody peeks, boom, and then you go. You know, you can go for a one tap, you can go for a little burst, and then you can leave. You know, whatever you want to do. But this is a very, like, not that risky fight. Like, somebody on this side has to be a god, but they're probably worried about running up, taking the space, and then going to plant the bomb. You know what I mean? They don't even have to sight yet. So, like, here, I would have, like, okay, jet updraft. Oh, okay, I'm prepping my crosser here. I'm peeking. And then the second they cross, boom, I get one, and then I'm out. The second I get that one, I'm out. And then now it's a 3v3, and you have two ults for retake. But because we're too scared to make a play like that, now it's a 3v4 still, and we're not even guaranteed the retake, and then we end up dying anyway, because now we're taking this fight. But this guy's ready for this fight, because he's the he's just running in like that, you know what I mean? Like, he he's pre-aiming you immediately. Yeah, people could be pre-aiming you on this angle, but they're so confident that their jet cleared everything that they're not really going to expect you to, like, just kind of, like, be here. Because they the jet just cleared it, and she said it was clear. So like this person would have to be like insane. But even then, like you're gonna have the advantage here like 90% of the time. Yeah, shooting early is a pretty common bad habit. It's just fear. A lot of it is fear. Like you're very anxious to like get the kill. So like you feel like if you don't like shoot your gun as fast as possible, then you're just gonna die. Or you're not gonna get the kill when you should have gotten the kill. So you're putting all this like unnecessary pressure on yourself for no reason. That's how you like get that habit. Um, Yeah, I would have caved back way early. Nice, good job. Behind you? Nice. No. Yes. Good job. This was good. The second I hear this guy, I'm swinging instantly. Like, like he's like stepping like this way to this way. I have a general idea of like where he is. You know what I mean? Off of just hearing him without the old scanning. So the second I hear the footsteps, I'm swinging into him because he's probably not going to expect me to swing. He's like, oh, he's in the smoke. I'm just going to wait for it to fade. Like, that's what he's that's what he's thinking. You know what I mean? So I would counter that by like being unpredictable and swinging into him while he's crossing out, trying to get a different angle on me. I hear him running. And the second that I hear the footsteps, I'm like, OK, I hear him running. He's standing, he, you know, like I'm tracking him like this. I'm like, OK, he's probably like right here. Boom. And then I swing out and then I flick or I react and I do whatever I have to do. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to like create these like windows for myself that will give me free kills versus being like too predictable. You never want to be too predictable. Like right here, he's just waiting for your ass. Like he, he's literally just sitting in the corner waiting for you because that's all he has to do. If you swing there and you get that kill, the cage is still up and then you're able to reposition again. Like it opens up so many opportunities because even if you do kill this guy, which is what you did, right? You get shot in the back. But if you create the opportunity for yourself, you kill him and your cage is still up. And now the guys that are a main are shooting the smoke and you're already here and then now they're crossing and here you are swinging on them and they're not even expecting it you know what i mean all just because you're creating these little aggressive windows every time by um kind of being unpredictable you know what i mean An enemy remaining. all right at this point you guys have already made so much noise don't don't like okay so if you don't know like this little circle right here is like your audible footstep range like if you're already making noise here, like, why even ship walk now? Like, they, they definitely heard your ass. Like, I would just be running this. It's so, like, at this point, now you guys are running. But that's because your gecko's there. Nice. But if you already made the noise, I would just, like, go. And don't, like, don't look at your cam, like, that long. Like, if you have a flank cam set up, have it posted up to where you can kind of see everything. That way you don't have to like do this. What the fuck is that? Um, have it set up where you can kind of look at both like this, right? That way, you, whenever you're doing like lurks and shit, you can just, right? Time is of the essence, right? So you want to like get your info, little picture, right? Little snapshot in your brain. If you see an enemy, you'll see them on the mini map or your teammates will see them. And if you do see somebody, then that's when you can be like, oh, there's somebody there. And then now you're good. You know what I mean? But you don't want to. It's not like that much faster, but it's like a it's like a little bit faster. You know what I mean? Same thing. We're like looking left and right. Bro, what is happening? When all we got to do is just tap it, tap it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I guess because it's gold, it worked out. Hold the angle. What are you doing? 
Oh my god, why are you not killing that guy? Where is that? Oh, they didn't smoke up bomb. They have no idea I'm here. Yeah, but your gecko's dead now. Yeah. I would have killed this Reyna. Like, this is an off angle. So, like, nobody's really gonna clear you here because they have to clear everything else because there's three of you. Like, I would have just held the angle, and the, the second the Reyna swings enemy, kill him, and then cage instantly. And then, yeah, they know that you're here, but they still have, you have the bomb planted for you, so it doesn't matter if they know you're there, you know what I mean? I think... I think you're too, you're too scared to peek. Just peek the angle. <laughs> you're doing this. Just peek, bro. You know where she is, right? Cam, boom, I'm swinging. Like, that's it. You know what I mean? Like, just wide swing, stop, shoot. You know, don't like. Because if you do this, right? The downside to doing this is if she's right here and you're here doing this, right? You're preeming this and she's right here. And now you're like, oh shit. And then I, because you wanted to swing later, now the timing is all thrown off and you fuck up your counter strafe and then you die. And swing that shit. Like, you know where she is. You have the info. Like me personally, like I wouldn't even have cammed here. Like I know she's there, right? Like I'm going to get on the angle before she even gets the chance to get here. And then when she swings right there, she's dead. Because look at her. She's taking her gun out. Like if you were holding this like this, instead of relying off your cam because you're too scared to hold the angle, I would have just held it and then she would have just died to me. Boom. Done. She would have died right there. 100%. Crosses on the wall. Well, the crosser on the wall is fine there. There's two different types of peeking an angle. There's the type where there's the type where you will track a corner like this. This is when you are clearing and you're preparing for an enemy. So when you do this type of peek, you are prepared for any unexpected angles, which usually gets you really good kills when you're prepped for an off angle. So example, if somebody's here and I'm tracking, I will usually clear like this right and then by the time i get to like here i can flick back versus if i'm pre-aiming an angle pre-aiming is when you have the information is when you know where they are and you could pre-aim the angle and swing into it and get the kill tracking the angle is when you don't know where they are and you're clearing because you're trying to get that information and react to whatever goes on so him pre-aiming here is fine because he has a general idea of where she is he, does, he needs to have his crosshair in this general area if he didn't know somebody was here, then he can clear like this, he can clear like this, and prep for any unexpected positions because he doesn't have the information. So when you know, it's a good idea to peek like this because you know where they are, right? He knows where they are. He's putting his crosshair there and he's peeking. That's where he last saw Reyna. Where his crosshair is right now is where he last saw Reyna. But Reyna's here now because he didn't account for Reyna moving in the next couple seconds. That he took to peak if he swung a little bit faster instead of doing his little shift peak that he did he probably would have got the info way easier like he probably would have he probably would have caught her when she was like right here and then all he would have had to do is move his crosshair down a little bit but because he took so long to peak she was already all the way down here so when he peaked like this his crosshair was way off and then he had to flick all the way to here and then he panics and then he and he does that Again with like the, like, it's like, it's like you give yourself, it, I could literally see yourself, I could literally see you like giving yourself a pep talk before you fight, you peek every angle. You're like, oh boy, this is like literally you. You're like, oh boy, an angle. You're like, all right, somebody might be here. I have to, I have to be ready for this fight. You're jiggling, you're jiggling. You're like moving left and right. And then you're like, all right, now's the time. Swing. And then you're going. You're like, all right, we're good. We lived another, we live another day. And then now we're pushing. Notice now how he's tracking, by the way. I didn't even tell him the tracking information. Let's just before. You do this subconsciously. You guys might not think of this, but you do this subconsciously. Or you should be doing this subconsciously. Notice how he's tracking. Tracking. Watch. He's, he's holding tight on the angle. Tracking. Now he's like pre-aiming a little bit. Then he's tracking again. Notice he's clearing, he's moving, and he's tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking the corner, tracking the corner, tracking the corner. Now we're pre-aiming. Right there, that was a pre-aim. You can see it right there. 
Dragging. Now he's prepped for he's prepped for heaven. Pre-aiming. Okay, I mean he's doing it wrong, but it's fine. He's he's like soft pre-aiming. And then I was just about to silence. That's all good. You just got timing. Well, you got the gun. You got to make the round happen. You bought the gun. You better make that shit count. Your teammate just should be. Here you are, like, soft clearing again. Look at this. You need to be scaling, bro. You need to be... You got a fucking phantom. Look, your team's dying. Look, your whole team is already dead. Look. Look at you. Look. You're too scared. And then you die. <laughs> It's okay. You're just scared. You don't have enough confidence in yourself. Look, right here. Look, watch. I'll tell you what I'd do right here. First of all, if I'm shift walking here, the second I hear that molly, I'm swinging because Brimstone's probably out in the open with this little fucking dumbass molly. And here I am shooting him in the back of the head. But that's okay. Gecko just took contact. He's running up on site. He just blinded out. Like, you need to be scaling either. Pushing in a tower or walking up right here to take the space here for when this guy swings out the smoke. You have two cages, you get your kill, you cage yourself, and then you run away. And then you can go tower or like set pressure somewhere else. But because you're in this position, look, your gecko just died. You can't even get the trade because you're not that pushed up on the angle because you're sitting back. And then you go move back a little bit. For some reason, you move back, even though you have all the space right here. For some reason, you back up. I think because you saw Reyna, you wanted to like hold her. But Reyna's worried about the people B main right now. She doesn't give a fuck about you. She doesn't even know you're here. Nobody knows you're here. But you feel like they know you're here for some reason. Because I think you're, I don't know why. And then look, we're crouch holding the angle. We're aiming at like fucking LeBron James right now. And then now we're peeking the angle. We whipped the shot. But if we were holding it, if we were holding the whole angle, we would have killed him. You give yourself all the space here to where you have room to work. You have, you're, 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 you're flexible here, right? This is a very big window for you to react. So Brim swings out, right? You whiff your shot. Now he's keep, he keeps running. You can just flick over and then shoot him again. But because you go on this angle like this, right? When you shoot him, he crosses over and now there's a wall here. Look how tight this angle is. You have to kill him instantly. The second you see him in this gap, you have to kill him. You don't have an you don't have an option. But if you open yourself up to this angle, now if you whiff, you give yourself a little wiggle room to like correct your mistake. But because you limit the angle, you're you're you, you're making it ten times harder to take a fight here. You know what I mean? And which is exactly what happens. Watch. You give yourself the whole angle, right? Right here. Boom. Right here. Perfect position. All you have to do is hold this. You're holding it, and then you're hiding. And now look, you give yourself this window and watch what happens. Now you see Brim, you're playing on a reaction. You see Brim, you shoot and he's gone. Just because you didn't give yourself enough room. And then Brim wide swings into you. Caught me off guard, this dude doesn't. Shit. Bro, what are you doing? You have a trip. You're watching a tripwire right now. Nice. History, history repeats itself. Okay, now she knows that we're holding her. Bro, we are so scared. Dude! Okay, dude, look at you. Come on. I'm gonna drill this into your head. We're gonna make you a fucking man. Look at this. <laughs> okay, history repeated itself with this angle again, right? Take the space that you have. Give, Take it. Take it all. Take it all. It's all yours. Nobody's going to stop you. The only person that's stopping you from fragging out and getting free kills is yourself right now. We get tied on the angle again. Boom. Trip goes off. Trip just went off. As soon as trip goes off, you know your trip is like right here, right? Right? You know how much time you have? Dude, I wouldn't even have caged. Then, Cause then she knows I'm there. She's assuming that everybody's on site. As soon as my trip goes off, I'm fucking 180 and I'm crossing right here. I'm crossing like this. All I have to do is stand over here. Because what is she gonna do? She's worried about taking the site. I know damn well she's holding this because she thinks we're flanking and then here I am. She's dead. She's not even looking at me. All because I took advantage of the timing and I just killed her.
But then we caged instantly. Now she knows we're here. And then we ran away. It's 4v1, bro. Get your one. It's our cave flank. Be like, I got mine. Go get your one right now, bro. Fucking run at this guy. Holding rope. Your gecko is about to peak. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to peak. But even then. Wow, my eyes are down. Bro, peek his ass. Look, look at your phoenix. Look at your phoenix. He's holding the cross. Phoenix is holding this. He's holding this angle right here. This little line. All you gotta do is post up right here. If you really wanna play it the smart way. Tight on this wall, pre-aim the angle, right? You wanna pre-aim like right here. Wait for your phoenix. The second your phoenix gets contact, boom, dead. But you're right here. If phoenix fights right now and dies, you can't even get his trade. And now you're dead to the bomb. Oh my God, you just died to the bomb. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Hesitation oh, is a poison, bro. Hesitation is a poison. Look, we see him, and then instead of re-swinging back into him, we just, look, we just let him murder our teammates. Spike down, B. And now he's gonna murder us. Except it's not just him, it's the whole fucking squadron pulling up on us. Alright, maybe I should have tried hard to tame for the head there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hypothetically, yeah. So, like, this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about peaking your angles. So, watch. Whenever you do this, you put yourself at a disadvantage because of this exact reason. And this is why exa this is exactly why you need to swing into angles. Check it out. When you do this, you expose yourself little by little, and you're not even, like, actually peaking yet. So, what this breach sees is this. You're peaking, your shoulder peaking, your shoulder peaking. He's going to see you before you even see him. Even he's doing it, really. He did the exact same thing you did. But you did it a little bit slower, so he gets the damage off on you. And then you're forced to hide. Right? And then now we're dead. How you peaked it that second time is how you should have been peeking it the first time. When you're pre angles, you need to be peeking into the angle. You never want to give yourself at a, a like, you never want to put yourself in a bad position by doing this. When you do this, you already lost a fight before you even took it. You really, you literally lost the fight before it even happened. Because this guy that's hard holding the angle, here's what he sees. He sees your little shoulder, your little fucking jacket, and then he sees your little hat, and then he sees your bald ass head, and then he kills you. All because he's just holding the whole angle. But if you do this, I know people peek here. I know people peek here. I know people, the most common ones are this, this, and this. These are the most common angles that people play. This one, this one. And this one. So, when I'm peeking this, I'm doing this. Boom. 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 That's how you need to be peeking. Notice how I'm just swinging into it. Boom. 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 Right? That's how you need to be peeking. Boom. 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 That's it. And then, boom. You just took all the space. Now that those angles are clear, push time. All right. We're pushing. All right. Boom. 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 All right. Now we're back on tower. All right. Now we're on Jenny. All right. Now we're on tower. All right. Now we're on this. 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 Now we're on this right? Peek. Boom. You know the angles, right? You know the common angles. You die to them all the time, right? So prepare for those angles. Swing it, swing it, swing it. All right, we got the space. If I want to peek that side, I'll cage like this. Now they can't peek me from tower. I peek arcade. I, I peek uh, canteen. Now I peek this. Now I peek top Jenny. Now I peek Jenny, right? And then boom, we keep going. And that's it. But because we're doing this little slow peek, look what happens, right? We'll replay it again. We do the slow peek. You know this. You know the angle. You know you had. You know common angles because you're pre-aiming it, but we're not swinging it properly. And then look, he's got the angle on us, and there we are. Now we're taking action. We don't want to peek. And then we get breach done. All right. And then we swing properly, but it's too late already. Spike down B. Get flash. Okay, run away. You're getting flanked. If you're getting flanked, you need to do something. If you're getting flanked, you're getting pinched. The bomb is down, the breach is tower, you hear footsteps pushing you from uh, arcade side, and then you hear you're getting flanked. You need to fight this jet. Instantly. Cage behind you, swing on this fucker. But we're doing the shift peak again. So now we're dead. Even if we killed that jet, we're gonna get swung behind instantly. We need a cage, swing the other guy, get rid of him, 
Now we have no worry of our flank, and now we can go whip back around and go kill the other guy. And our brim is on B main. So if you do get that kill, and then now you're fighting here, this brim can go underneath. All you have to do is buy time. Maybe you get another kill, and then your brim shoots him in the back of the head. And now it's a 2v2.